Hello everyone, now let's talk about HTTP basic authentication. So HTTP authentication is a way in order to protect resources on a server. So HTTP protocol supports two authentication, HTTP basic and HTTP digest authentication. So now let's see how HTTP basic authentication works. So here you can see that here is our client and here is our server. So first of all, the client will send a request of a particular resource to the server. Then if that resource is protected, then that server will request client to add a username and password. Then client gives the username and password to the server. And then after receiving the username and password, the server gives the requested resource to the client. So this is how HTTP basic authentication works. But there is one limitation or weakness in HTTP basic authentication that is it never blocks multiple retries which means if we don't know the password then we can go on adding wrong username and password and it will never block us because it's the weakness and the another weakness is that it transmits our username and password in packets in the in the form of plain text. So the attacker takes advantage of this limitation in order to do some kind of attacks like brute force attacks, dictionary attacks to find the username and password. Now let's see how we can crack this HTTP basic authentication. Now let's see how we can crack basic authentication. So in order to test basic authentication, we will use the web for pen tester 2 ISO which we have used while testing CAPTCHAs. So here you can see that my web4 pen tester 2 ISO file is up and running and its IP address is 192.168.0.141. So we will also need Kali Linux for it. So here you can see my Kali Linux. So let's open web4 pen tester. and make sure that you have downloaded and you are using web4 pen tester 2 because the older version of web4 pen tester not contains authentication challenge it's it's only present in the latest version of web4 pen tester so here you can see my web4 pen tester and here is an authentication category so just for the timing, let me click on this example one. So as I click on this, you will see that it asks us for the username and the password. So here the thing to be noticed that there is no form through which we can enter our credentials. So this kind of authentication, this, this box is actually a basic authentication used for protecting HTTP resources. So if I just enter here, admin and password now let's see what happens it again asks us for the password because we are entering a wrong one so as i told you earlier that the main weakness behind this basic authentication is that it never blocks multiple retries which means we can retry multiple times by using wrong credentials in order to find the right one so let me click on cancel and you will get a message here not authorized so in order to crack basic authentication there are different ways there are different tools but in this video i'll cover a tool called as hydra which is present in kali linux so with the help of this tool hydra we can crack the password of different devices and like HTTP passwords, FTP passwords, routers, passwords, everything. So let's go to the man page of Hydra. Here you can see a very fast network logon cracker which support many different services. So usage of Hydra is very simple. So before going further, let's try to analyze the HTTP basic request that how the request looks like so let me start burp suite and let us also configure our browser proxy settings
So my burp suite is starting. And let's configure it to the manual proxy configuration. So it's a burp suite IP along with the port 8080. Click on OK. Let's go back. And let's see that whether a burp suite is running or not. So this kind of basic authentication will not found in today's web applications but this is just a demo that how we can crack the different authentication types. So let's go here to the proxy. And let's open this link. So here you can see the burp switch start blinking. And here is the request. So I'll forward this request. And here you will see a authentication required pop up. So let me write here admin password and click on OK. Now let's go back to our burp suite. And here you can see our HTTP basic authentication request. So it's a get request you can see here. And this is the resource which is actually protected. This directory is protected by HTTP basic authentication. And in the last you will find additional header field of authorization and it's some basic authentication. And here you will find a base64 encoded value so what it value contains it actually contains our username and a password which we have given admin password now in order to verify that what we have given just right click over here go here to convert selection then base64 and click on base64 decode and here you will find the user input which we have given admin and a password now let's just make the intercept off and now let's try to crack this HTTP basic authentication using Hydra. So let me just type here Hydra. So here you will find a demo command which we can use to use Hydra. So we have to type Hydra hyphen L and the username which we want to give like admin. So that admin name should be remain common and then we will give additional parameter called as hyphen capital P and here we'll give the list of our password file which contains passwords and then we will give the IP address of our web for pen tester 2 along with the protected resource. Now, in last videos, I have showed you that in Kali Linux, there is one directory which contains our word lists, which we can use for different attacks like dictionary attacks, brute force attacks. So here is that directory which contains the word list, user, share and word lists. And here is one file called as fasttrack.txt. Now let's see what's inside this file. You will find a lot of passwords here. Now let's try to use Hydra and we will give the reference of this file fasttrack.txt. So I have just written here Hydra hyphen L and the username should be admin then hyphen capital P and here we will give the location of this file fasttrack.txt which is inside user share wordlets and fasttrack.txt so now we have to write here 
the IP address along with the protocol. So we know that the HTTP is protocol we will use but here's the thing. So let me just first send this request using HTTP. and the resource which is protected is authentication slash example one so it's the url of that directory which is protected by http basic authentication now if i just hit enter you will see that it asks us that what kind of request we want to send whether you want to send get request or post request. So while time of analyzing this request in Burp Suite, we have seen that this HTTP basic authentication request is actually a get request. So what we have to do is we ha just have to do a little modification in our Hydra payload. So all we have to do is we just have to write HTTP hyphen get then colon two slashes and the IP address of web for pen tester along with the protected resource. Now if I just hit enter here you will see that this tool Hydra is successfully able to find the correct username and a password. So here you will see max 16 task per one server attacking service port 80. So the host name is this login is admin and the password is admin. And in the last you can see at the statistics, one of one target successfully completed, one valid password found. So now let's go here and let's try to enter admin as a login name and the password is also admin. Now let's see whether it's true or false. Okay, so I forgot to remove my proxy settings. So uh, it's one for one. So let's go to this challenge again authentication example one and let's write here admin as a username and the password should also be admin click on ok and here you will see a success message which means we are successfully able to find the password of HTTP basic authentication using Hydra. So if you are interested to protect your HTTP resource so you can apply or implement HTTP digest authentication that is secure. So in this video we have covered what's HTTP basic authentication and how to crack that. Now thanks for watching this video.